Hello there, David from Sangri Support here. To walk through how to configure SSO using Azure and your Sangri account. SSO, or single sign on, is an identification method that enables users to log in to multiple applications and websites with one set of credentials. Log in to your Sangri account and navigate to Settings, SSO Settings. Click on Add Configuration. Then, log into the Azure portal and look for the Azure Active Directory in your dashboard or in the search bar. On the left side, look for Enterprise Applications. Please create a new application. Where it says Search Application, look for Twilio Sangrid. Click on the tile, then click on Create. It may take several seconds to load. Great! In the overview menu, look for the second step, Set up single sign-on, and click on Get Started. Please select SAML. Look for the first module, Basic SAML Configuration, and click on Edit. Go back to your Sangrid account. Copy the audience URL and paste it where it says Identifier Entity ID in your Azure User Interface. Go back to Sangrid and copy the single sign-on URL, then paste that in the reply URL field. Sign-on URL optional is used to perform service provider initiated login. We are not going to use it at the moment since we are going to show how JIT or just-in-time provisioning works. If we add the sign on URL option, JIT is not going to work. Finally, click on Save. If you added the Twilio Sangrid tile, like we did before, you don't need to edit attributes and claims. However, if you are doing a manual configuration, you need to edit attributes and claims. Please check your Sangrid documentation to do so. Go to Home and Access again. This is for the certificate to get assigned to our recent created application. Go to the third step and download the certificate in Base64. Please open it using your favorite text editor. Go to your Sangrid account and click on Next. Please add the certificate that we pasted in the text editor. Please check it says Microsoft Azure Federated SSO Certificate. In the field, SAML Issuer ID, Paste the Azure AD identifier.
please be careful pasting the URLs. For instance, there are cases where users remove the slash symbol at the end. This might break the integration. Where it says embed link, paste the login URL provided by Azure. Finally, enable SSO. Access again and enable just-in-time provisioning and save your configuration. We have finished our configuration. Now, we are going to test our configuration using just-in-time. Go back to your Azure Active Directory. On the left side, click on Users. Add a new user. For instance, I'm going to create David Justin at mydomain.com along with the respective fields. Copy the username or email address and save it in a text editor. Additionally, show the password and copy it and save it in a text editor. Click on Create. When using Just-in-Time, Azure will send a request with the fields username, first name, and last name to Sangret. Then Sangret will create the SSO teammates. Access the properties of the user that we just created and put the email address in the appropriate field. Please save the configuration. Go back to your Azure Active Directory and access Enterprise Applications. Click on Twilio Sangrid. Look for Users and Groups. Then click Add User Group. Under Users, click Non-Selected. Look for the user that we just created. And click on Select, then click Assign. Notice that we assigned the user to our application in Azure. However, that user is still not created on SendGrid side. If you go to SendGrid, Teammates, you are going to see that the email davidtestin at mydomain.com doesn't exist in SendGrid yet. Just-in-time provisioning allows to create the teammate directly from Azure. We are going to test if our configuration works. Please select Single Sign-On. Navigate to Step 5 and click on Test. Select the second option since we want to log in with the user that we just created. This option requires a browser extension called My Apps Secure Sign In Extension. It's the dashboard that handles access to your applications or websites using SSO from Azure. Please install it if needed. Please click on Test Sign In. Please input the email of your recent created user. Enter the password. 
the system will request you to change the password. Notice that we were able to sign in with our recent created user. Additionally, please notice that the user was created on Sangrid site. All right, we have accessed our Sangrid account using just in time provisioning and SSO from Azure. For Sangrid, I'm David. Thanks for watching and happy sending.